Isn't it nice when you're the one in the know, you have the secret, the inside scoop, the thing that other people want to know about because then they come to you and say, hey, what do you know about? And you say, I know about this. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about hidden gems. This is a new series that we're putting together, hidden gems in Calgary, in Northwest, downtown, and that's where we are. Today, we are starting downtown Calgary, and none of the businesses or the places that we're visiting have sponsored or asked to be in the video. We're reaching out to them because they truly are hidden gems. So let's get started. life is feeling a little bit full, a little bit crazy, sometimes you just need to get away and take a break. And that is why we're starting our downtown tour here at Ska Thermal Spa. There are some amazing spas outside of Calgary, out in Kananaskis and Banff, but today, right here in downtown Calgary, we have this truly hidden gem right in the Beltline. We are at Calgary's only urban thermal spa. Located on 11th Ave, this beautiful little oasis is right in the heart of the city. You can relax, get a massage, have a facial, enjoy the boutique geothermal spa complete with hot and cold pools, a steam room, traditional sauna, and an infrared sauna. For only $65, you can book 120 minutes to access the hydrotherapy. And this is truly a hidden gem in Calgary that you have to check out. And we have got a two hour hydrotherapy session that if you wanna win this, head over to our Instagram channel, follow us there and watch the stories the week of this video is released. We are gonna hide this somewhere downtown Calgary. It's gonna be a hidden gem that you gotta go find, but let's head off to our next location. So we've headed a little bit north in downtown and now we are in Eau Claire area. And down here is one of my favorite coffee shops. If I am down in this area, I am definitely jumping into El Forno Bakery and Cafe. Let's go check it out. Not only is this an incredible coffee shop, you can also dine in. Stop in for brunch, lunch, and dinner, as well as pick up your own artesian bread with your coffee. Hey, and while you're at it, make sure to take home some incredible pastries or desserts. With two locations in downtown Calgary, you are sure to be able to stop in and trust me, you will not be disappointed. I know El Forno isn't necessarily a hidden gem and it's been around a long time. They got two locations, it's incredible but it's something you definitely gotta stop and try if you haven't. Now, we've got some amazing parks right down here that we're gonna go check out. We wanna share more of hidden gems in downtown Calgary, especially parks, because there's so many places that you can get away from kind of the concrete jungle of downtown and go find some amazing spots to rest. Welcome to Prince's Island Park, which commonly is mispronounced princesses island park or something like that but it's not it's princes like a prince because paul anthony prince who was the founder of the eau claire lumber mill actually donated this land to the city in 1947. the park is open every regular day from 5 a.m until 11 p.m and spans 20 hectares of land it's connected to downtown Calgary and Eau Claire by three beautiful bridges, and there's even a north bridge that connects to Memorial Drive and the community of Crescent Heights. Prince's Island Park is host to a plethora of events and festivals throughout the year, including Canada Day celebrations and Calgary Folk Festival. It truly doesn't matter what time of year. I mean, there's a lot of people walking mid-morning here and you can enjoy Princess Island Park, trust me. Now, if you are enjoying this type of content, hidden gems in Calgary, around Calgary, and you wanna see more of this type of content, I need to get a response from you. So hit the like button, comment, say something, tell us you like this. We've never passed 800 likes on a single video and I'm hoping you can help us with that today. So go ahead and hit that like button. But let's head off to the second park. As amazing as Princess Island Park is, I wanna show you another, maybe more of a hidden gem that's called Pierce Estate Park. Now this is northeast of Inglewood and we're gonna head over there and show you something after that you are not gonna believe. But first, Pierce Estate Park is an amazing place to get away. Let's go check it out. 
Located in Pierce Estate Park is the Bow Habitat Station, which is a great visit for kids and adults. You can learn all about local fish and even feed the trout. Now, just east of the Bow Habitat Station is Harvey Passage. Now, here you can kayak, float, or just watch others splash around in the summer. Many who float down the river from further north in the city during the summer will end their float here too. This truly is a peaceful and amazing plot of land that makes you feel like you aren't even close to the busyness of the downtown core. So as we continue our journey talking about hidden gems downtown Calgary, I mean, we're a real estate YouTube channel, so we got to talk about houses, got to talk about some of these things that we see down here when we're driving around. And there's one street in Inglewood called New Street. And if you've never driven down New Street, I think it has one of the most eclectic, creative, unique type of properties. You've got everything from new builds to old stuff to homes that belong down in Cranston, to everything and anything in between is on New Street. Now just down the way from that unique street, down in Inglewood is one of our favorite restaurants we're gonna show you first here as a hidden gem. Inglewood has a really unique reputation with a lot of unique, vibrant, vintage, new, all this kind of stuff. These types of stores are down here on 9th Ave and you have to visit it. And one of the things that has popped up over the last couple of months is what started as a food truck is now an amazing Indian restaurant is Mumbai Bites. So let's go take a look. What started as a passion for a food truck has turned into a unique dining experience. You have to come and check out this progressive Indian food here at Mumbai Bites. You have to try the samosa chat, which is a samosa served with chutneys, yogurt, special crunch, peanuts, and my favorite, the pomegranate, which puts it all together. Next is the dahi puri, which is a crisp dough ball filled with yogurt, mint, and tamarind sauce, and explodes in your mouth when you take a bite. And last is Vada Pav, which is their special vegan burger, which is an absolute must try. Three friends had three cups of chai, and they all had a desire to serve this type of unique, progressive Indian food. They jumped into the food truck, and now they're here in this restaurant, only been here for about three months, and you have to come down on 9th Ave in Inglewood and try this place. However, we're gonna head on to the next location, so we'll see you over there. So now that we got your taste buds popping, we want to introduce you another fantastic favorite of ours. And this was actually introduced to us by Max Barton on our team, who was a local chef for years here in Calgary. I introduce to you the contemporary Latin American brunch and dinner club, Fortuna's Row. If you love anything Latin American, Chef Miko's spin and take on cuisines from Mexico, Peru, Brazil, and many other regions is something you need to indulge in. The atmosphere of this restaurant and the smells take you to another place when you are here. So we were introduced to Fortuna's Row about a year ago on our last anniversary. And when we visited here with our girls, let me tell you, there wasn't a dish we didn't like. Everything is mainly served family style, which means you order something and you share it. And not only is there a lot of history in the food and the tastes and the flavors, there's also a lot of history in this building. 421 Riverfront Ave, known as the Booker's Building, was once a former textile factory right beside the Bow River with a long history that spans over a century. These were some incredible places that we visited today and we wanna show so many more of them to you. So if there's areas of the city, certain communities, things like that that you wanna see, comment, tell us, let us know. However, in the meantime, here's a video we think you're gonna like, so head over there and we'll see you on that video.